And guys, so, just in case you don't know is Mini is for scanning smaller item, it's another model name, okay? Not in today's range. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, so usual when we're scanning, the turn red. red, yes, and near will there be no, but this no, this is just gain settings, and this is not automatic. So oh, you're, you're gonna have if this is red, it means it's almost too bright. Almost too bright. Oh, okay. Almost. If you get white inside the red, oh, not then it's bad. Oh, she's yeah. in so, so we do only three hundred fifty three frames mm -hmm. because. Too much frames can create it artificial after. Three frames. Oh my God, you can control Only. the frame so precise like that? Yes, you can precisely click stop and you get only <laughs> never 353. Noticed. Because if you yeah. do more, you can risk yourself that you're going to have artificial uh, artifacts like of, overlapped frames after. So it's a lot, a lot of, of cleaning and wasting of time. Right, so we do. Yeah, yeah, professionally, right. when you're scanning, professionally when you're scanning, you should have it like this. 360, then after another scan, lower the scan, missing. Professionally, you not scan everything at once. That's we do, right, because right. we want to keep all the work, but we do. But professionally, you scan this, Position test, position test. And then you merge together for the best accuracy of the model. I see, I see. Wow. So after, so after we have now, it's called frame cells. It's not point cloud. Mm -hmm. It's only, doesn't a cells of a frame, point cloud cells. They are not fused. Right. Yeah, right. Not fused so, yet. Yep. I can see not yep. fused. Mm -hmm. So now we go. So the next tab is called edit. Mm -hmm. We have a row, you see it? Raw, row. Yeah, right now it's row. Mm -hmm. Then the software allow of automatic settings, what in most cases is very good to use. Mm -hmm. If you don't have too much data on the model, you just go for automatic. If you want to have very fine details, you can go completely to one. Okay. 0 0.1 millimeter, what is the accuracy actually of the range? Yeah. So usual for this purpose, I will not go really, really crazy. I go on two because it's not too much details of the sculpture. This is, not you know, I have already so evaluation when I, <laughs> when, I scan, well, okay. when I scan when I scan an object, I evaluated how much details the object have and how far I have to go. Some object, I can go 0 0.5. Some object, I would like to have 0, 0 0.2. So you have to evaluate how much details, because you, you don't want to waste time of processing. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. if you don't have details, why you have to fusing on this point, uh, pitch point? So I said 0 0.2. And it's gonna do automatic. I see. It's but, like you are more, you have more freedom, but it's in your way. But you have AI better freedom. Do Some people don't like it. So you see, now it's beautiful fused. Point. It is not mesh yet. It is yep. point cloud fused beautifully. Mm -hmm. Now, and next, you have point cloud. What is the next step? Is point cloud editing. Yep. So number one, overlap detection. This detection is set automatic. So you don't have to touch it. You just have detection. Yeah, yep. What you do, it, you do, it detects so what happened. You see what happened? Mm -hmm. It detects yep. all uh, points that was overlapped with the other points. I see. Well, frame on frame. And frame this can create uh -huh. later artifacts. So it detects that was point on point. So you have to remove it. But look what happening here when I click apply. See what happened? It, ch it changed the distance. Uh -huh. So next time I click detect, it's going to detect distance 0 0.5. So it's going to detect, oh. see it? Oh. Now detect the distance. Oh, so it is like a layer. It detects the layers automatic to clean everything 
all this bad stuff we wanted right. in the mesh. Right, like the layer become thinner and thinner. And and how many times will you do overlap detection usually? Sometimes. Oh, that you're gonna see. Look, now I'm detecting to see if anything changed. Usually, if not happen change. Oh, it didn't change again. I yeah. so mean, and Until you don't I still have you something. Know. I still have something. So I apply. Let me check one more time. But sometimes no, two times. Time. Sometimes five times. Dependent. Oh. You know. Okay. Mm. Still have something. So, but this is very important because some models you don't want to do that. Like for example, I scan a tree, a real tree, ah, like a, with range. Like very I scan a tree, yeah. and tree leaves then separate. So if you click this function, you remove all the tree because they are not connected. Uh -huh. right, all the right, other right. leaves Got gonna it. be disappear. So you don't want that way. I love it because you have completely control over what's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. So you don't right. want to disconnect all the leads. Know what to do, what not to. Yeah, yeah, but exactly. This is, this is an incredible control over processing in the scanning software. This is not editing software. That's right. You know, Rebel Scan Five number one feature is we put scan and before it's called another software, Rebel Studio, yeah. where you do for all the processing. Now it's together and oh. even allows you to yeah. do the editing right after you fused. You don't need to. Know oh, look what happened! Game. Look what happened, Kevin. You asked oh. about this. Yeah. If yeah. you finish and did nothing is detected anymore, you have error. Oh. File ah, okay, to okay. detect. You see, look. Fail to detect overlap oh, data. Beauty. So you you're fusing point cloud is ready for the next step. Okay. Next step cool. is isolation. Mm -hmm. You can even have nice bubbles by everything. If you knew, you can read the isolated points on the dream model are automatic detected and deleted. What is yep. isolation point is a, a fragment of your scan that is not connected. Like I was talking about the tree leaves of the tree. <laughs> when I scan, yeah, I when you scan, scan people, candy. like when you scan people on the floor, it's gonna, gonna catch the floor of the tune table and you don't want it. So yep. with this, you can remove loose fragments that you don't really need, uh -huh. but not in all cases. So that is good to have a control. Got it. You don't have to changing anything. It's uh, the settings in perfection. You just click detect and see what happened. Sometimes we want to be delete. See, we don't see. want it to be delete. Uh, we don't want that. Cases. Yeah, okay. Yeah. If that was automatic, you're gonna lose the, right. the bottom of the feature. Right. So you right. say cancel. You don't know, you don't want it. So we go to with this. We have a here function like point distance. You can change here how to pitch, pitch distance, but I will not recommend because it loses too much details. So oh, this it. here you have a smoothing. I will not recommend either for this kind. If you want to details, if you want to have like a uh, hard edge modeling, like you scan a car of right. of big object tables of of right. anything that's a very flat surface, you want to use that like this because you want to have flat. perfection, right? So you've Straight got the perfection. To use depending on what you're scanning. But you don't yes, depend on your scan. But okay. you don't need to use them all, and this is amazing because before we don't have this. We have this automatic. So what it was like a Russian roulette. You get, you click it, and that is. Now you can control aspect of your model. Got it. Oh, you, uh, since you mentioned Russian roulette, guys, we will have this roulette very soon. So stay tuned. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right now we are listening <laughs> carefully to Katarina's <laughs> lecture, but. We'll, we'll be back with you guys in a breeze, okay? Yeah, let's keep going, Katarina. Okay, so we have now meshing. Uh -huh. We have a meshing. Of course, the software automatic thinking, okay, it don't need to be really, really high level of meshing. Mm. Usual, I don't trust 100% because I know already this model very well and I know yeah. what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna put this on top so you can see yeah. the maximum level. Okay. Only range have level seven meshing, mm -hmm. at my special request, because range produce so big models like people or cars, it need additional meshing level compared to pop of mini. I see, I see. Okay. Because if not, the data, a lot of the data from the point cloud are gonna be lost if it's too low. Because the point cloud, you know, is big model, it need 
at last 50% the data need to be used. So that I requested for the team to add the additional yeah, level you know, seven. Even Katharina is saying that so like normally, but I feel so proud of her. You know, she actually makes our R and D guys listen to her and do the changes right, on yeah. the software. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so the mesh quality of seven is only available on the range. So these are different. on the range. Okay, okay. Okay. Yes, nice. that's correct, uh -huh. Kevin. It's only for range. Normally, you have six, but for pop two of mini. Mm -hmm. uh, Mesh quality or level six is so good as range seven. I got it. Okay. Because the meshing here right now is moved from the batch processing from version four. Yep. It's moved on, on my request as well because it was the best algorithm for the meshing. So the team actually transferred this quality meshing. So you don't need more than six for pop two pop and mini and seven right. is the best for range. Yeah. yeah let's see how, how so here goes. the next you have a mm -hmm. option for for if you just want a one scan like i do right now yep. you just can fill all the holes automatic is a algorithm is automatic based of a trend um let me thinking for a second it's tangled space, it means it's going to be organic. It's going to be no flat. It's going to be organic. So if you have a, a mesh that is like hard edge, like a mechanical cables and stuff, you don't want to use in this function because right. it's only for organic, organic models because it's going to round out everything that's flat. Yeah. Ah, yeah, so remember that. So what we tried, it got a... Remember this, sh this shows when you scan it? Remember uh, when you have scanning uh, shoes with people and the shoes get round? And the shoes get always round when you're using cloth holes. Uh -huh. Your shoes are round under. That's yes, what they do. Yes. That, because it's for organic. Mm -hmm. So if you have organic models, use this. If no organic and you want to have beautiful and flat surface, skip it. Just skip this function. Right. We're going to use it because organic. Okay. That's the same here. Yeah. It's so intuitive. You can just look at this and you know what's happening. I, because I, I do have a little concern with uh, Kickstarter because in the past, I mean, I'm a tech guy and uh -huh. not every company on Kickstarter comes through with their Kickstarter, right? But I mean, that's what I love about this company. Look at that, so look at guys. Yeah. yeah, oh my gosh. Oh, we have oh, mesh. Oh, it filled the holes so good. Nice. 